Hi, I'm Eric Lenask. Thanks for uh, joining me for this edition of TMC Newsroom on the Road. Coming to you from the Stonely Hotel here in Dallas, Texas. And I'm talking with Chris Todd from Metaswitch Networks. Uh, welcome, Chris. Thank you. Uh, Chris, now, uh, you're formerly uh, from, uh, or, or from what was formerly uh, AppTrigger, mm -hmm. um, now a part of, uh, of uh, Metaswitch Networks. Talk to me a little bit about that deal, um, you know, how it came about, how does uh, AppTrigger fit into uh, Metaswitch Networks? Certainly. Thanks, Eric, and happy to be here. Um, so, as you uh, point out, we uh, uh, did uh, just recently close our, uh, our acquisition by, uh, by Metaswitch Networks on last Thursday. So, it's very, very recent, very fresh. Uh, happy to be part of the new family in, of, uh, of Metaswitch as a service broker division. Um, it's an exciting time for AppTrigger, for, uh, for our team and our customers and, our, and, uh, and the real whole, the, the focus on the service broker market. Um, about a year ago, uh, myself and the board at AppTrigger, we started looking at what the strategic options were for the company. Uh, and we were assessing whether we should continue to, uh, to go forward as a, uh, as a standalone company or, or really uh, look to partner with um, you know, a, a larger player, another player, or somebody to combine forces. Um, this was largely driven by the fact that the service broker market that AppTrigger had pioneered was starting to um, gain considerable traction just over the last uh, oh, 18 months when the market was first formed. Uh, and as we saw in the future that there was going to be a, 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 a big growth spurt coming, um, the, uh, the investors, myself, the board, really kind of looked and decided, you know, what's the best way to, t to capitalize on the, uh, this market that AppTrigger was, was clearly one of the early pioneers and helped uh, formulate. And uh, we made the assessment that, uh, that if, uh, you know, while we had the available capital and, and, and resources to, uh, to continue to grow and continue to do great things, that if we uh, partner with somebody, we'd actually have a lot, somebody that had a broad footprint, had a broad customer base, had, had broad resources and so forth, that we'd actually be able to accelerate um, what we had already had in place. And, and ensure that we would emerge as the market leader in the new service broker market. And so um, we set out on, an, you know, on a comprehensive uh, analysis to, to look at the various uh, partners that we could uh, team with. And uh, Metaswitch was at the top of the list from pretty much from the beginning. And uh, fortunately, it made a lot of sense to both uh, the boards of both companies, the executive teams of both companies. And um, we're happy to say we put the deal together. And, and we're off and running. Well, congratulations on that. Thanks. How well does, uh, obviously there's some synergies there. Really, how much overlap uh, is there between uh, AppTrigger and uh, MetaSwitch Networks? You know, uh, interestingly enough, there's, uh, there's not a lot of overlap um, on the product side or on uh, the channel side or in just about in any, any fashion. Uh, it's, it's, it's almost, uh, if you could say, you know, just a perfect fit in the fact that uh, Metaswitch is very well known for making applications and application servers, and they're also known, very known, uh, well known for making switching infrastructure. Um, well, what AppTrigger has pioneered is a service broker, and a service broker sits in between applications and networks. So we sit right in between their two product lines and enable any of their apps to talk to any networks or any network to talk to any app. So they didn't have a service broker solution. Uh, and going forward, it's going to be critical on uh, serving global carriers, wireless, wireline, broadband, whoever, that you have some type of service broker uh, functionality. And so it's extremely complementary from a technology perspective. Um, they're obviously a, a leader in voice apps, voice switching, our, our whole expertise and experience and our innovation is all around voice. Um, then if you look at it on another dimension on a geographic basis, um, uh, you know, majority of MetaSwitch's revenue comes from the U.S. Mm -hmm. where they're very strong. Uh, they're based in the U.K., strong in the U.S. We were based in the U.S. and strong international. Um, so almost all of our business comes from the international markets and so forth. Uh, they've had a heritage of being very strong in wireline. Most of our customers are wireless. So it's, uh, it's, it's actually very complimentary and, and uh, a, a great fit, uh, you know, for the two companies to work together. 
So it sounds like there's a, a significant opportunity for uh, for growing the the uh, uh, overall, you know, your target customer versus MetaSwitch Network's traditional. Well, it's kind of both because uh, as MetaSwitch, uh, obviously, there's an opportunity for us to work with their existing install base uh, of customers that would need service broker um, uh, functionality. At the same time, as uh, MetaSwitch is is uh, looking to go global as a company and enter international markets um, as, they, as their new CEO has uh, dubbed it they have a strategy to go global and mobile right so they're going to go into international with their global strategy and then uh, into the wireless market with their mobile strategy um, a service broker is a, is, a, is a perfect entry point into uh, the international markets as well as into the wireless space uh, because the larger uh, multinational tier one operators uh, are looking to how do they, everybody, everything's about converging. How do I converge networks? How do I converge applications? How do I consolidate? You know, run, par you know I don't want to run parallel networks. I want to collapse everything together. Well, in order to do that, you need a service broker. And so the, the initial thrust of, of um, their global and mobile strategy is to lead with a service broker, and that will pull the uh, both the application suite as well as the switch infrastructure along, so it's um, the drag effect of a service broker bringing uh, bringing both of the core products uh, that the company has uh, is very strong. So talking specifically about the wireless side, now that we're finally starting to see some uh, 4G rollouts and with obviously many more uh, projected throughout the course of uh, you know, the rest of 2010, that's got to be uh, that seems a perfect opportunity for mm -hmm. you. Absolutely no. The uh, you know uh, MetaSwitch has done extremely well in the U.S. with some of the tier one operators with their unified communications and unified messaging um, suite of uh, uh, of services and taking those international now and using the service brokers uh, as an entry point is uh, is what it, what what it's going to be all about. So we're we're really excited about what, about the, what that's going to mean. There's been some other uh, consolidation uh, around the service, uh, uh, the service broker market as well. Mm -hmm. uh, is that going to continue? Um, I think that there's probably a few more, uh, you know, plays to be made. Uh, you know, as you know, the, the, there were five founding members of the service broker forum. Mm -hmm. uh, Aptrigger was uh, the lead in helping pull it all together. Uh, but over the last three months, three out of the five uh, have been acquired. Uh, by some pretty formidable companies. So uh, obviously this is a hot space that everybody um, recognizes that I need to, to, to own uh, some of this key technology. Um, so there are a few independents that are still out there. Uh, but, uh, you know, I think that, that with the fact that, you know, Metaswitch Networks, Oracle, Amdocs, a number of, you know, larger players now entering this space, um, it's going to be important for the smaller guys to find find a niche or find a home uh, in order to compete on a on a bigger stage. So as as you uh, as, you know, as the need continues to to be there to connect the applications with the networks, uh, how much work do you do with uh, on the application side with the developers? We do a lot. You know, we're very. Uh, um, uh, partnered, I mean, uh, partner-oriented. Um, App Trigger historically has been um, primarily channel-oriented, where we deal with uh, application developers, and um, we package our solution with them as an, an when a new sale is being made to operators, and that's kind of been our legacy um, with the likes of Convergus and, uh, and and so forth, and a lot of other multinational players. Um, going forward. You know, there's a lot of what I would consider to be uh, uh, described as business reoptimization, okay, of existing applications or services. When you've got to rationalize, I have two ringback tone apps, and I need to get rid of one, or I have two messaging, and so forth. As as networks are converging, the operators are looking to consolidate and uh, um, you know reoptimize their portfolio. Um, that's for standalone uh, kind of uh, service broker sales. So we do both. We work with the application community, and we also do rework with the operator themselves, where there may not be initially a you know a new sale being made, but it's just a matter of how do I rework what I've had you know in the past. Mm -hmm. One last question for you: uh, What are your thoughts? Uh, what's the impact of uh, today's ruling by the uh, U.S. courts? 
that the FCC is actually not empowered to mandate net neutrality? Well, I think it's going to be interesting because I think that, uh, you know, any time that the status quo is disrupted, then that creates opportunity for those who can move fast and those who can take advantage of it. Um, I've always been an advocate of, of kind of, if you will, throwing the cards up in the air mm -hmm. and see where they land, and uh, that always creates opportunity. Disruption is the, uh, you know, is the fertile ground for new companies, new startups, new ideas, and mm -hmm. so forth. Um, so anytime you see something, the status quo being kind of challenged or reinforced, it tends to create new opportunities, and that's always good from my perspective. Well, it's certainly going to be interesting to follow, follow yeah. uh, along. Absolutely, absolutely. Great. Uh, we've been talking here uh, in the TMC newsroom on the road with uh, Chris Todd from MetaSwitch Networks. Uh, Chris, thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Thanks, Eric.